everybody, it is Phantom the Wolf here, and today I'm going to show a tuto tutorial on how to get rid of frozen fireballs. Uh, now, some of you guys may have this problem, uh, especially with your older Minecraft version, and sometimes still get this. Now, this is a rare occasion, but I'm going to show you. Um, it's going to look a lot like this. Uh, whether you use a plugin or a mod or something, and supposedly it shoots fireballs, and usually it's just fires um, firecrackers or fire charge but then they just freeze and then it's there forever you can't get rid of it you can't yeah you can't get rid of it it's just annoying uh, this is an old map of a server that I used to play with friends I just had the file copy I'm kinda redoing it uh, just for the purpose of this mini game here but yeah this is um, this is what it looks like it's kinda all around but today I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. There is a way. Um, now, the reason why it's there is supposedly like I heard of some game file that when you fire, there's a glitch or a bug that causes a freeze, and it's just there. It's just a picture forever. It's you can't get rid of it. I'll use World Edit um, for example. I use this. Put Bedrock here. And say you try to like get rid of it, so you do this and maybe a little further out. This, just like in it. And let's say I use cut for world to edit. It's still there. You can't get rid of it. You can't turn it to air. It's just there forever. You can't even regenerate uh, also. If you don't know what the regen does, it just restores everything to its original um, world. So say like I do this and this. Originally this was air, so it's just gonna change it back to air. If you do it over a building and stuff, it just change it to its original land. That's what regen does. Now, supposedly it's permanently there and you can't get rid of it. So you just either have to live with it or start a new world. But there's a way to get rid of this. Um, I know there's not a lot of people that know how to do this, but I'm gonna show you a method of how to get rid of this. You're going to need a very few things. So, first of all, you're going to need bedrock. You will need TNT. Maybe redstone. And if you use world edit, it's easier, but yeah, basically you'll need bedrock and TNT. And something like TNT. I usually use a uh, um, redstone block because it's easy to break it. But this is what it looks like. In fact, I'm going to show you a little bit more about it. Um, up here is a little experiment I have. Now, the thing with these um, fireball fireballs um, is you, they can be moved, actually. So if I put this here, it pushes it. If I get rid of this, it pushes it that way. And if I put this here and do another one of these, it pushes it. So the thing is, these objects can be pushed around which is nice if you really don't want to get rid of them or keep some of them you can use as decorations or something so they can be pushed around um, so what I'm going to show you is the only way to get rid of these is you gotta blow it up now you can't just throw TNT on it and then blow it up because that will just shoot it somewhere random it will just push it it won't get completely destroy it however nice thing with these block or fireballs is they can't go through bedrock from my experiment so that's the nice thing about it so ooh, if it's like kinda halfway you're gonna have to decide or just like do both double it um, I just wanna make sure it's in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this just trap it make sure it's sealed and stuff So you got definitely gotta cover it. Now, this is what I do here. Um, make sure TNT is also in it. Now here's what I do. Um, I put like stone or some other block right there, and I set it, be ready to set it, uh, place redstone block on it. And what I usually do. Um, 
what I usually do is I change the stone to redstone block which is this stuff and then immediately change it to bedrock now if I were you I would have like um, this set bed rock or maybe it's just this let me, let me find that out uh, to change st stuff to bedrock you set bedrock is that right yeah okay you just push that usually what I do is I have this command Um, copied so that way as soon as you ch change the thing that's not there set that way as soon as you change it to redstone block you're gonna immediately change it to bedrock and you only have a few seconds now this is a little hard to t for me to type but that's why I copy and paste it so if I just do it like either on URL or just word doc whatever you can type it on somewhere else so you can't see me do it but I now have it copied so what I'm gonna do already oh wait I gotta do it but now I gotta change these to uh, redstone block but first make sure it's all covered with bedrock so it can't escape then you set it to or change it to redstone block block I'm sorry I can't type you hear it and then change it back or change the change it to bedrock now that was a weird explosion you hear there and let's see if it works now you see that when it's on fire it worked you got rid of it just put out the fire you done you did it that's the only way I can get rid of it um, now it has to be trapped like for example if I just set TNT um just right there and I just ignite it it's not gonna work it's just gonna push it see that it just pushed it over here and it's still moving so you have to trap it in there that's the only way I get rid of it uh, I'm gonna show you another one or how to do it again Usually I just do stone because it's well you're in creative so it's gonna be easier to break it anyway but it just helps me keep track of what block is which so again this will be more simple oh and again TNT needs to be on the fire ball or fire charge and I'll show you some pictures right now um, of some other worlds I've seen that have this problem but don't know what to do about it so again I'm gonna change this to stone now what you can do is you could just click on this and one over so you can change that to re this block and then back to bedrock uh, make sure it's trapped in there you don't even need to like get this cover but I just like to be a little protective so if I set to redstone block and then change it back to bedrock and explosion is going to sound a little bit louder than usual because this is technically a fireball but once it's on fire you you're done that is how you get rid of uh, frozen fireball glitches so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and hope this video comes in use so I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!